beautiful, and they've all been punched in the nose at a Trump rally. <laughs> and speaking of Trump, he's on track to become the Republican nominee. So to all of you voters out there who have thought for years, I hate Hillary, I can never vote for her, to you I say welcome. <laughs> election results are in, and here to talk about his big wins, his big win is Senator Ted Cruz. Caution, we're about to show his whole face on the screen. Your discretion is advised. Hello, Jay! <laughs> Still got me, even though I knew it was coming. Happens to everyone. Now, Senator, tonight you beat Trump in both Kansas and Maine, which was a huge upset. That's right. I beat him good. And when I beat someone, it hurts because I still wear my big, ugly class ring. <laughs> That's right, I'm one of those guys. But you did still lose tonight in Kentucky and Louisiana. And that's okay. I still love those states like they're my own children. And just like my own children tonight, those states said, ew, gross, I hate you. Now, Senator, let's talk quickly about Thursday's GOP debate, which many call craze ball. Oh, yes. The debate was so much fun. I talked policy. I laid out my plan for America. And right at the end, I ate a tiny little white booger off my lips. Yes, that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, thank you, Senator. And finally joining us now, he came out strong against Donald Trump with an unprecedented public address on Thursday. 2012 presidential candidate Mitt Romney Hello, Governor. Uh, hello, Jake. Hi, Jake. Thanks for having me. Now, that's right, America, I'm back. You didn't ask for it, but you got it. <laughs> now, Governor, why have you decided to speak out against Donald Trump? Well, Jake, for the last nine months, I've sat down and watched Donald Trump say something every day that was either racist or sexist. And we in the GOP, the party of the great Ronald Reagan, we do not say racist and sexist things. We imply them <laughs> subtly over decades and decades of policy. So I felt that I had to take matters into my, my own tan, well-manicured hands and follow the advice of my favorite raptor, Macklemore. That's right. And I chose to put Donald Trump on blast. America, he's a fool. Four years ago, he endorsed you for president. Like I said, he's a fool. He's a fraud. He's a scam. He's a what? He's a what? He's a flim flam man. Now, if you vote for Donald Trump, and I hate to use a curse word on television, but if you if you vote for him, you're a sucker. Oh, forgive me, Joseph Smith. Wow, well, you are pretty riled up. Yeah, gosh darn right I am. And that's why on Thursday, last Thursday, I rolled up my thousand dollar monogram sleeves. I took a couple shots of non-alcoholic Kahlua. I did 10 women's push-ups, and then I went out there, and I gave the most aggressive, passionate, well-measured anti-Trump speech I could. And do you think your speech changed the minds of any Trump supporters? I do not. Do you think any Trump supporters even watch? Not on purpose, no. Do you think your speech hurt Trump at all? Mm, honestly, I would assume it probably helped him. All right, is there anything you would like to say directly to Donald Trump? Yes, yes, there is. Donald, you're duplicitous, you're reckless, and if you become the Republican nominee, know this, I would make a great vice president. And live from New